Hmm? What are you don't say. Oh, I can scratch and sniff. Oh. Good evening. I mean, good evening. My name's Sam, Dr. Whiskey. This is Master Malt's competition. The first one we've ever done. Let's bring in my buddy, Alex Holbrook. Good evening. Hi, Alex. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm surrounded by booze. I'm in my most comfortable chair. Uh, and I'm generally and you're wearing happy. a velvet jacket. It looks velvet, but it's corduroy. I mean, it's business in the front. front Either way, that's right. Either way, it's definitely earning of the spotlight. <gasps> oh, look at that spotlight. Have you seen the video of um, it's got in the viral vid um, on TikTok and it's people going, God, can't you just hold the video light still? And then they pan it around and it's like a pony holding the torch. <laughs> Pony. Better if you watch it rather than me try and describe what a TikTok, viral TikTok video, which is probably quite painful, but it's fine. Discussing viral TikTok videos is a strong start to our live <laughs> Master of Malt competition. We're really excited to be doing this, and we're really excited how into it everyone seems to have been. We've had some great comments at Master of Malt, so tag us if you're excited. Tag us if you win, uh, and keep in touch. We will be in touch with all winners on Monday. We are going to go through... Uh, all of the whiskeys that we are able to uh, have in our competition at this time, but we've got more lined up, more live ones going on the website right now, uh, more being announced tomorrow. And for all the winners that we announced tonight, you are going to be very lucky people and uh, be winning and you'll be contacted on Monday. And we're really excited to send out some prizes. You might put a little love letters in there and say, give me a call if you're ever going to open this. You can invite us. <laughs> This is very fun. We're also going to scatter this evening with a couple of questions. So even if you don't win on one of these uh, fantastic, I don't know what the official name is of the spinning wheel. Don't know. Uh, then we, you might have a chance of winning something else from us as well. If you got those questions right. Questions? That I'm going to scatter in. Ad lib. <laughs> this is a surprise so this is our first one people so thanks for suffering it through this is exciting I, mean, okay. no I look forward to that what's the first whiskey we're going to do that yamazaki isn't it first delicious whiskey we're going to do is the yamazaki it's yeah, 18 right. years old and it's a hundredth anniversary limited edition Wow, so 1923. Everyone thinks, uh, many people anyway, think Japanese whiskey, it's a new thing, because maybe in the West we've just discovered it in the last 10, maybe 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, but what's incredible is they, that's right, 100 years ago, uh, Shinjiro Tori set up the Yamazaki Distillery, basically giving birth to this amazing now global whiskey company uh, and drinks company, which is uh, pretty awesome. And this is a Mizunara Oak, I think, as well. It's a, it's a 100th anniversary, pretty cool bottling. Amazing. And do you know what gift you would get if it was your actual 100th anniversary? In Japan or at my house? Uh, I mean, they probably don't differ, so let's say both. <laughs> oh, you mean like anniversaries like wood and silver, that kind of thing? For 100th. Oh, a letter from the Queen? Oh, no. I mean, no. No. Um, if you know your answers, you can comment. We will see those on YouTube or Facebook. Oh, I will see them. If anyone knows, everyone's quickly Googling. <laughs> yeah, I, I could do the same with the screens I'm surrounded with, but I'll just leave it. Are you going to reveal the answer? Yeah, it's a 10 carat diamond. That's all the motivation I needed to eat healthy and go to the gym. I don't think that's part of the bottling either. So if anyone's thinking that's like a secret squirrel thing, I don't think it is. I don't think there's a diamond. It's not a diamond encrusted lid. Or... <laughs> just as a heads up. <laughs> just... well, let's get to it then, Alex. Will you please take us to the board? Here we go. So I now can't see you. So when you are ready, just let me know when I can spin. Not to worry. I am ready. And I think uh, as long as everyone can see what we're doing, you should press go. Good luck, everyone. Three, two, one. Right Take note of that. 622-4962. Be in touch with us. We'll be in touch with you on Monday uh, tomorrow. But this is exciting. Congratulations, Craig. That is oh awesome. God. 
Craig, what a win for a Sunday night. Pretty strong start. Way to go. Yeah, you know, take a picture of you jumping up and down or celebrating with a whiskey or whatever you're doing. Yeah, with your 10 carat diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by them, Craig. Surrounded. <laughs> oh, should we go, go straight to the next? Yeah. That's what people want. They don't want to listen to us. People don't want to listen to us. They want just, they want whiskey. They don't want us. Well, you can't see the whole bottle in that picture. Sorry about that, but you know what it is. It's an iconic, classic, much loved, much celebrated, and much collected single malt from the beautiful Speyside region, known for using amazing sherry casks. It's the Macallan. And do you know where the word Macallan comes from, Sam? Uh, from the bottle? No, okay, no, I have no idea, actually. <laughs> so it's a combination of two Gaelic words, ma, which means fertile ground or land, and ellen, which is a reference to the Irish monk St. Philan, who brought Christianity to Scotland in the 8th century. Really got, some, really got some holy water here. Yeah. No wonder it's attracts so much attention. There's a bit of divine intervention going on here. Mm, exactly. Again, that's an unfair advantage. <sighs> Just hope the holy lands, the holy lands. Let's see who's going to win it then, shall we? Yeah. Right, let me go to the picker wheel, guys. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Amazing. All right, well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Haven't turned off that, sorry, guys. So a little, uh, little pop-up there. Tanya and Aunt Lisa P. Joint ticket. Well done, you two. That's awesome. Six two two. Sorry. Congratulations. Yeah, double. If you're high fiving, if you're hugging, if you're both jumping up down, take a picture, share it. I'd love to see the celebration. That's a cool thing to to win there. That's that amazing McCallum eighteen year old Sherry Oak, twenty twenty three release. That is pretty cool and no doubt delicious. Should you choose to open it, give us a call. I'd love to be there. I'll be there in five minutes. <laughs> Awesome. The next one in our list that we're giving away tonight. Ooh, this is cool. I've, uh, I've got, a, I've got, a, I've got infinity. Okay, guys, let me just sort out where I'm going. We're heading to the Nordics with this one. Norwegian whiskey. If you've never heard of Norway, well, too bad. You've heard of the country. Now they're making whiskey. Mikken Distillery and this amazing Aurora Distillery way up north. Norway's such a yeah. long country. Very cool. Just need to double check that I've got the right one. Here we go. Okay, this is the Brivost. Is that correct? I, I assume that's how you say Brivost. There's Ike Santer Sobros. Brivost. And it's the Nine World of Norse Mythology series. This one is the Vanheim. They're all, I've tried two of them. They're really awesome. Uh, these look beautiful and uh, it's a really cool distillery operating way up north in Norway. So making the pilgrimage to somewhere cool like that is something we all got to do, especially if you win tonight. Especially if you win tonight. I did have a fact, but uh, it's more Arctic based. So we'll use that for another time. It's Arctic, it's Antarctic, not Arctic based. Oh, no, we don't have an Antarctic distillery yet, but the Arctic, there's an this is the northernmost. I think it's the planet's northernmost distillery now, actually. This oh, really? Yeah. Mm, amazing. Okay, are we ready to spin, gang? Yes, please. Oh, hang on. I think I've messed up the screen. <laughs> We just wanted to prove that was controlled, Alex, that you didn't know about that. We wanted to prove that this is not rigged. This is, <laughs> once it's happened, it's determined. That is- I've done it again, so guys. Much. I'm very sorry. Um, hang on, Jake's just messaging me. Can we, uh, let me stop sharing my screen, Sam, if you go to your normal one. As we said before, this is our first time that we've done it. This is the first time I've been spinning and I think I spun the wrong one. Hang on. We've got our crew in the back. Uh, I've just, I did the Bivros wheel rather than the McAllen. So Lisa, so, <laughs> they won the Bivros then. They won the Bivros and we didn't spin the McAllen yet. So let's spin the McAllen. 
Well, congratulations on that too. That is awesome. <laughs> he's done, he's done it. That's fine. Right. Let's do the McAllen. Right, here we go. We're going to do the McAllen. We're going to find the McAllen. We've already got the spiel. We know Let's Easter Island. Here we, we go. We know what it means now, thanks to Alex. And now we are actually going to spin that. We're checking, field. guys. Oh, God, this is so complicated. We thought it was going to be easy. That's why we put on the no. belt. Oh. I've been quite hot because I've done the wrong spin. <laughs> Okay, here we go, guys. The McAllen. Apologies about that, everyone at home. Just can't get the stuff. Okay, are we ready for the McAllen now? Three. Let's bring two, it. Yes, please. One. Music. Mr. TV. So keep your eye on that, 622-4700. That's how we're going to know whether it's TB, whether it's Terry Birch, or whether it's Tessa Bartholomew, Tony Blair. or whether it's, <gasps> what? Could be Tony Blair. And I've also got the image on. This is for, for the McAllen, and I've screwed that up. I'm really sorry. Let's bring that one up. There we go. Great. That's for the McAllen. 18 years old, Sherry Oak. Gorgeous, gorgeous whiskey. Good job. Mr. TB. Mr. TB. Well done. Okay, here we go. We're going to nail it from here on in, buddy. Don't worry. You're cool down. No one can see your cheeks turning red. You're all I'm good. I'm so red. I'm so hot. I'm not panicking. I've done some breath work. Everything's fine. Okay, now we're doing the Port Ellen, aren't we? This is a Port Ellen closed distillery. And this particular one is from the Character of Ilo Whiskey Company from their Wind and Wave series of single casks. I think it's one of the highest scoring whiskeys uh, on Serge Valentin's Whiskey Fun. This is a 35 year old from 1983, the last year of production of this coveted and beautiful uh, historic Isla distillery, Port Ellen. Here we go. Okay. So go. we are ready with the Port Ellen. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Yay. All right, Johnny P. Johnny P. 622 5030. Those are the numbers. That is your ticket. You have won. Awesome. The stories of wind and wave. Isn't that a gorgeous name? Yes. Evocative, isn't it? So evocative. And it's 40 years old, 1983. Well, the, it's well. Remember, it's distilled. It was bottled some time ago, so it's thirty-five years old. But yes, forty years ago it was distilled. We can look at it that way. Thank you. Glad I've, glad I've got you here as the the educational, the the brains of the operation. Some might say. Okay, here we go. Next one, Dan. Have we got any? Let me just check to see if Jake's got any questions. No, I don't think so. Um, here we go. Next one up. Everyone just focusing on winning, Alex. Don't worry. I mean, this is the incredible Karazawa, another closed distillery, right? That's one you're on, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one we're on. Closed Japanese distillery, loved by so many. And this is a really interesting one because it was bottled uh, from a private uh, collection of a private supplier who may have been involved see, in uh, bringing Karazawa to most of our attention here in, uh, the, in Europe, really, uh, some years ago. I won't say his name, but... We're very grateful he shared this. Master of Mole has bottled their own Karazawa. Pretty cool. Nice. And that's it right there. You can see it in the image. Yep. And someone's going to win it right now. Oh Here we go, gang. Are you ready? Ready. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we don't know. Lucky shorty. 6224911 Kevin H. You are going home or whatever. You will be receiving this Karazawa. Yeah. Well done. Piece of history right there. Very cool bottling. Very precious. And that's a, such a cool thing about these competitions. It's a chance to get bottles that myself personally, I don't know about you, mm. You would not necessarily be able to afford, but it's a chance to win these things. Really ultra rare whiskeys being won at ridiculously low prices. Very cool, Kevin H. Congratulations, man. That's really great. 
going to be amazing one. And uh, when would you enjoy a whiskey like that, Sam? Well, yeah, that's a good question. Special occasions, you know, like, yeah, that's right. I think sometimes when you see a vintage on a bottle or you see an age or you're celebrating a child's 19th birthday or uh, some big celebration, it's a time to open special bottles like that, especially ones that are a piece of history. You don't want to have them uh, go unmarked or to sit forever in that glass. Mm -hmm. Find an occasion to open them and share it with folks. Whiskey is to be shared and enjoyed, as John Glazer from Compass Box always says, share and enjoy. Yeah. Just, Strong let's put it out there to the masses like when was the most memorable glass of whiskey you had when was oh, it nice. guys you can win a little prize from us okay. we've moved along haven't we are you on the right one you are i am we are i am the i'm on full screen it's saying full screen on my computer but it might not be full screen it is it is full screen don't worry okay. I, I i just got to pause before we do this this is one of the most beautiful whiskeys in the world Blended Japanese whiskey, beautifully put together, so elegant, uh, so coveted as well because it's hard. It's harder and harder to find. Absolutely precious stuff and just so beautifully put together. Uh, this is Hibiki Twenty One. It could be yours. What are some tasting notes from this, Sam? I always find like tropical fruits. That maybe it's your mind getting tricked, and you know you you go to these sort of tropical Asia fruits like uh, the, the taste of durian, not the smell of durian. Uh, lychee, uh, melons, all that beautiful stuff. But also then there's oak throughout it and just wisps of like different type of pine or whether it's sandalwood or that, those types of characteristics as well. And then spice, it's just, it's got everything. It's, and it just so harmoniously uh, put together, just beautiful blend of whiskey, all the hibikis, but this 21 is absolutely stunning. Amazing. Well, here we go, in for the spin. Ooh. Making me feel calm. Think something about Hibiki, isn't it? Thank you. Congratulations, Andrew. Energy six two three four seven seven nine. If that's your ticket, Andrew, you're the winner. Again, we will be in touch tomorrow, but uh so don't don't fret we will get in touch with you and you are going to get a bottle through the post pretty soon which is great and it's not only any bottle it's that hibiki 21 year old yeah lucky damn that's a good bottle to get in the old poster row okay Exciting. here we go next one more more more, more. we got a bow more what other famous <laughs> bow mores do we know are there any famous bottlings? Or fa I mean, Bowmore is one of the great distilleries of Isla, one of the oldest distilleries still operating in Scotland, located in the capital, really, of the island. It's a hub at the Isla Festival, the Fish Hill. Uh, it's a beautiful traditional distillery that's had so many different uh, styles over its time. It's really been amazing to watch. And it's the, like any bottle of whiskey, it's it's a history trapped in a in bottle, um, and this Bowmore Thirty is no exception. And really nice uh, marriage of different casts for this one, uh, as you'd expect, sherry and bourbon and refill. Uh, but just two thousand three hundred and something bottles available in the whole world. This really sexy Bowmore Thirty. Amazing! What a bottle to win. Okay, here we go. Elliot P, congratulations. Elliot P, 6231181. That was a weird noise, that whole, that the way that one spun. Yeah, everyone's a bit different, isn't it? I like the musical ones. Yeah, so do I. We'll do, we'll remember, we're learning. If you like, if there's ones that you like or one that you prefer, more of this, more of this next time, uh, let, do let us know. Speaking of, we got some comments here. Alex, you mentioned most memorable dram. There's uh, the Magnificent Mobius made a comment, uh, the glass after... They handed in their final dissertation. <laughs> oh, what a glass I bet that was. A well-deserved glass. We've got uh, Scotch Hit or Scotch Mist. Good names. Oh, you guys are creative. Uh, most memorable whiskey was Springbank 21. Oof, lovely. With friends in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the whiskey that made it amazing, but the friends in the setting. That is lovely. And oh, I think that is cool. Scotch Hit or Scotch Mist. That is 
Beautiful. I'd love to share, be part of that gang that shares a glass of whiskey with you. Obviously, I'm not inviting myself. Be consensual invite. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tobias Swiftikus. Look at these names. Tobias Swiftikus, Springbank 10. You had at a whiskey tasting in London for your 18th birthday. That's memorable. Wow. And were you already into whiskey before you were 18? Mm -hmm. Careful how you answer that. And then we've got amazing Joel Holmes. Most memorable whiskey was a single cask Glenlivet at my daughter's christening. I was lucky and got a second bottle, which she'll have when she's 18, I believe that says. Oh, lovely. That's so nice. Well, hello everyone watching. Uh, this is, we're really excited to have this be our first uh, Master Malt competition. There will be more. There are already new bottles for next uh, live uh, competition on the website now. More going live, I think, through the week. It's uh, It's been great fun to watch the interest, and we're so glad you're here. Hopefully next week I'll have sorted out the correct spinners as well, guys. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe I won't be doing it next week. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll be replaced swiftly. <sighs> and that's fine. It's fine, guys. It's been good. It's fine. It's fine. We're all I'm Dr. Whiskey. This is Alex. Goodbye. Oh, no, one more. We've got one more. Yeah. One more. The smoke trails and heavy vapors. This is cool. We're thinking about doing more of this bundles where you get a couple things together that you don't often see as a, as a, as a bundle or that are related in some way, either by theme or by distillery. This was a great idea we had. I think uh, the guys that mom had that to have an Ardbeg duo. This is Smoke Trails and Heavy Vapors. These are special releases uh, with uh, Heavy Vapors launched at Ardbeg Day this year, back, uh, I guess, the end of May, beginning of June. When is that? Uh, face shield i think it is maybe yeah, whatever it is before the summer uh ever vapor is a bit different style of of uh, ardbeg and smoke trails also a bit different style of, with uh, manzanilla so it's some two very interesting limited edition ardbegs to be one right now that's my cue isn't it to spin the wheel Paul J six two three oh nine three six. What have you won? Good number. Alex, tell him what is one. Oh my god, you've won some delicious blinking whiskey. That's what you've won, Paul J. That's the last one for this time, isn't it? That's it. That's a wrap. Well, you, like we said, you can go check out a Caroni cast finished Balvenie, 27 year old. What a story. One of the part of their Balvenie rare discovery series. The uh, Glen Scotia, 21 year old is part of the next one. Kalula, 37 year old from 1981. Incredible. Uh, and some are already sold out. So get on the website, stay on top of it and uh, keep trying to get a chance. This is really a delight to take part in and so fun we are for numerous reasons. we're also going to choose our most memorable whiskey uh memory and announce the winner next week as well that's a great idea all right so we'll keep a note of anyone who commented on their most memorable uh, whiskey experience and we uh, maybe then we'll take it to ourselves we'll have a discussion it's going to be fair we might have an outside body who will be moderating this Probably. discussion and then we can announce it next week guys have another little prize still very red the excitement of spinning i think <laughs> well you did a great job alex that was good fun thank you for spending your sunday thanks, early evening with um me. and thanks everyone who's joined us brilliant we'll see you next time for the next master mold competition cheers